All right, let's pop out of the league. We're going to play some more Blue Black Bolas. Started this league last night, but it, the games with this deck are really long and drawn out. So I ended up getting too tired and didn't finish it. I lost to, I beat like a, some weird, some weird big mana deck. And then I lost to a snake deck. So I'm going to grab some coffee. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna log in. I've only only got one, don't only have one land. Keep this. We got a blood fast. Put that on top so we can cast old Nikki on four. We can go blood fast into champion. Oh, so this is like the artifact deck. This does not seem like a very good matchup. This is what I lost to... No, I lost to this playing red-black. That deck had Chain Whirler in it, so this can't be that good. But maybe this Blood Fast will climb us out of it. At least it'll help recover our mulligan. It sucks that I can't get on the board before... Before uh, Bolas, though. So I'm not going to play my champion. I'm just going to play this. Pass. Because like they can they can Metallic Rebuke me. Just draw a card with Bloodfast. This is an odd deck. One more my removal spells are not very good. <laughs> They can easily just play like a Karn here and we can be in a lot of trouble. Tezzeret, that's also bad. Because that kills Bolas. Draw a card, okay. Yield through this turn. Still going to jam Bolas. They're going to be able to kill it, but... At least I've got something going on. A lot of weird tap lands, but so red, black. We get a card out of them. We actually can't play Bolas next turn because of our mana situation. So we might just go like Champion of Wits into something. I think it's probably a pretty poor matchup in game one because they just have a million Planeswalkers. Like that's a 6-6. Six, six. This can just kill my Planeswalk with Volus. Man, this deck is sweet. Okay. What? I guess we're just going to jam another one. Oh, I need red. I mean, they're out of cards, so it doesn't really do a lot, but... I need to find some contempts. Yeah, this car is just gonna slaughter me. Yeah, we're we're so dead. We'll just move the next game. We mulligan, and I, I my deck's not set up game one to beat this thing. I think we're much more of a creature removal deck, and this is not good. But we can bring in our duresses and our negates, and shit. That should help out a lot. Probably never to return. Cut my fatal pushes. Cut cast down. Um, Doomfall is probably all right because it goes up. These gear hulks seem kind of like nonsense. I kind of want another blood fast. And I've got to cut two cards. Probably essence scatter. Try this out. I could bring in the gifted etherborns because they just attack, but I kind of want like my contempts. I don't really know what to cut. Like, I could cut the Gear Hulks or Champion of Wits because they have a bunch of servos. I would like to play first. 
Um, I'm gonna keep. Because if I hit a black land, this hand's really good. We gotta negate. So. Yield through this turn, yield through this turn. Okay, Dragon Skull Summon's good. Probably gonna Doomfall my opponent's hand next turn. I could also get Siphoner going. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna get Siphoner going. Or I could just get Bloodfast. Bloodfast better than Siphoner. They could play like a Psy here. But that is what it is. We'll figure it we'll figure out how to deal with that when the issue comes. Okay, so there's Psy. So because I hit a land drop, I guess I'm just going to like hold up negate, negate a planeswalker or Field of Ruin and deal with this Psy. Psy's annoying. Maybe I should have brought in some uh, Vraska's Contempt. So no, not Yehenny's Expertise, but Yehenny's Expertise doesn't deal with this. Okay. That's okay. And this side is going to get out of control. At least we can blood fast. Also. Like. Use these, hit this field room, get a black source. Yeah, we should definitely have these, the Yehenis in. Get a swamp. Bloodfast. If I had to play this, and then they only have four cards left, I guess. Like hold up negate and then hit this sigh. Because like, I'm just not like I, I'm not gonna be a planeswalker. Then hopefully land something big like a bolas to kind of shore up this battlefield. Likely just super dead because I, I didn't sideboard correctly. And I guess I could, if they go to draw, I guess they can't draw a card so. Yield to this thing. Remove a charge counter. Huh. I guess we'll let that go. So now I'm going to, with that on the stat, content this. Because I don't think my opponent can do anything that's, like, super scary. Ooh, they're going to rebuke me. Gross. No. Yield through this turn. I'm just, like, way dead. Because I didn't bring in the expertise, which, like, would have made sense. Especially considering, like, remove, destroy, remove a charge counter, destroy target creature. Controller creates a 2-4 white ox. Champion looking for God only knows what. 
Yeah, we're just going to go to the next match. That was bad. That was... Got beat up there. Should go back to streaming Sims. There's poor sideboarding on my part. Not really knowing what's going on. That's what you get kind of playing a reactive deck like this. You have to you have to really play this deck a lot and then know exactly what's going on in the format. But I probably could have had Gifted Aetherborns and Yeheni's Expertise in my deck to handle their uh, the Psy army. That Psy was sweet, though. My opponent is double queuing, which is great. I would like to play first. And I will keep this hand. I'm going to lead off on this canyon slow. <laughs> Might play some Death Shadow after this. Been getting beat up playing standard. So, I might want to return to my comfort zone. Okay, so playing against control deck. They don't have a way to deal with the Siphoner. The Siphoner is going to do some work. It'd be sweet to have a Ether Hub here so we can just threaten drawing a card immediately. I'm going to Doomfall my opponent's hand next turn to hit like a, whatever it is, a um, seal away. Strategic okay, so we're playing against God Pharaoh's Gift. This is probably a tough matchup. Okay, so they put an Angel into play. All right, Nikki's pretty great. I think I'm still going to Doomfall my opponent's hand and hope to hit an untapped land. So I don't want to just cast Bolas on four to get it uh, to get it um, hit with a or get them to just God Pharaohs give me. Okay, strategic planning, Angel of Invention, God Pharaoh's Gift. I kind of just want to take this strategic planning. Yeah, their hand's not very good, so I think taking the planning is pretty, pretty decent. We can kind of like tax their resources a bit. <clears throat> We're going to get to draw a card also. So hopefully we hit an untapped land. We'll figure out what to do with this Angel of Invention when it comes down. Okay, we drew another siphoner into a drowned catacombs. <clears throat> so we're putting some pressure on them. They're probably going to cast out the bolus, but we're going to get at least another card out of them. Red, blue, black, one. They might ditch their... Actually, this is kind of bad, because they might just ditch their God Pharaoh's Gift and refurbish it into play. Yeah. I just kind of help them. So it's probably actually worth to play the Siphoner. So they drew that. So we know three out of their four cards. Champion. So I'm probably just going to cast down this... Probably cast down this and then play a Siphoner so that I can just continue attacking. So 
So the only cards we knew exactly what they had before they drew. Okay, if new revuet, search for his canta. Alright, if only we had an untapped land for that. Wait, I'm actually going to play Siphoner. Get my energy. Then just attack with Nikki. Play a tap land. And then look to figure it out next turn. Because I can either cycle Fetid Pools or um, kill something. And then I can slam the god next turn. Okay, so here comes the angel. Sure. Let's see what they do with it. They make servos. Okay. So I'm just going to cast down this angel. Just to save myself some damage. And just take four. Okay, we're going to draw a card. Really honest, pretty great. So I can attack with everyone. The problem is my god's going to get cast outed. So I think I want to attack with everyone, play Liliana, and tick it out. Or I could play Champion. Yeah, I think I just want to be mana efficient. Give them something like tasty to cast out so that God keeps going. It's going to give me another card next turn. I also could just like trade and then bring my siphoner back, which is probably what I'm going to do. Play my tap land. Try to course. <clears throat> so they have cast out in two unknowns. They ditched up land. So they refurbish here. I'm in some trouble. And I'm just going to let this kill my Liliana. We are just kind of grinding our opponent out here. Yeah. Okay, so they cast them out, which is good, because now we're going to land God next turn. While having a bunch of menace creatures. We just want lands at this point. Okay, there's land. Get two energy. So we don't know their last card. Oh shoot, I didn't click on the Scarab God. Ugh. All right, well at least we got lucky. I meant to click on the God, worked anyways. So now we hit their last card. And we've got lethal like six ways to Sunday here. When the last card was cast out, okay. Worked out better for us.
they scoop it up. Okay, so I'm for sure we bring in the negates. Probably bring in the gate and duress. We gotta leave some removal in in order to deal with their little creatures. It's like we don't want these. Probably want negate. Maybe don't even want duress. I kinda want the other blood fast, but they they tend to beat down. Probably don't want Liliana against a deck that can have a bunch of haste creatures, even though it's pretty good in that game. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go like this. I could shave on Champion of Wits and Nikki's. Maybe a Torrential Gear Hulk can bring in these duresses. Just keep all my removal in, some then some yeah, I think we're gonna go like this. I would like to just like hide behind a good threat and then win a blood fast game. That's probably like all this deck wants to do. Can you nudge the followers dark bound a bit? I can't see your opponent's cards in hand. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I just threw it up there because I want to hit up. Maybe I should put it over here. That's probably the better place to put it. I just wanted to make it so that I uh, put the goal up there in order to get to the thousand followers. So I can do a bunch of I can do more stuff when I hit a thousand. That's probably better, right? All right, so this hand's a little slow, but I think I'm gonna keep it. We have like good removal. We have duress, bloodfast, and Nikki. Hey, Nikki, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey. All right, second bloodfast, not great. Yeah, no problem there. Sino, Sino, Sinosauro. All right. Um, kind of just want to play be mana efficient. Get this down, because then I can go like duress plus activate blood fast. My opponent could play like a champion here. Probably just gonna cycle a land though. Just gonna be mana efficient. All right, so let's play a land, duress them, check out what they're cooking with. They probably have nothing, or, or this is a counter spell, if I had to guess. Negate, okay. Yield through this turn. So we're probably just going to blood fast and then hopefully just slam this Nikki. That's what we're looking to do. They might hit this right now without a cast out. Okay, they didn't. And we're just gonna be mana efficient. They can play an angel, but we can't stop that anyways. Blue, red, one, black. This card's impressive. I'm not sure how to like build around it, but every time I've cast this card or had this card cast against me, it has been very, very good. The old Nikki B. It does kind of help them. Yeah, they're going to be able to like, bring this back, but if we remove it, like if the Angel Sanctions, then I get to just like, for Ask's Contempt the Angel, then it comes back into play. They milled themselves, okay. That's kind of desperate there. I mean, you've got a 
angel in play and you're milling yourself, unless your hand is just all lands. Okay, so we're getting cast out. That is okay. Really want to hit a land here so we can play the god. All right. We're going to ditch this second blood fast. Second blood fast. And then probably just a Vraska's Contempt, especially considering we drew the Hulk. Yield through this turn. Then yield until next end step because we can't stop anything, anyways. So we're just going to play land and pass. We're just like severely ahead now. We can either Contempt and Bloodfast, Hulk Contempt. They might like Angel, Angel me. And if that's the case, we're definitely just gonna like Hulk Contempt. See what they target. They probably target the Bloodfast, yeah. God, like when you when somebody when somebody blood fast somebody it just ends the game so quickly because like you just get so far ahead yeah and the game's just like wicked over okay So I kind of want to figure out if I want to play um, a league with this again, another black red league, or a um, a zombies league, or a death shadow league. So let me pull up MTG Goldfish. Black zombies. Oh, well, there's Twitch Alert. Sino, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Helping me get up to a thousand. It's really what we're looking for. Let me just go download. If you're still watching, Tom, what do you think? You want to see another standard deck? Do you want to see like how black red works? I don't know if you're still in the chat, but I can play whatever you want here. My black zombies. Yeah, I appreciate the follow. You be you blue black is very interesting. These games create a lot of really cool, just a lot of really good games. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. This could like end pretty poorly, but we do have like two, three, four, and another four, so. Either a champion of wits. <clears throat> I don't know if Tom's still in the chat or not. I've been playing a little bit. I mostly play modern. I've been playing a tad of standard treasure map. That's 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 a beating. So now we're probably just going to doomfall my opponent's hand. So just like a control deck. So we probably just want to take their disallow. So I just want my spells to resolve. 
We can tag this Gear Hulk at some point. Land would be pretty important. Okay, so now we get to at least get this Bolus into play. Man, this card is really good. They played field. Hopefully they didn't hit. Oh, gross. Just puke. Oh, man. Now we're in a lot of trouble. I think I want to counter this... Um, counter this Glimmer. Just to try to, like, lean on my opponent. And even because even if they play to fairy, we can contempt it. Okay, so here comes they're not gonna play to fairy. You'll do this turn. We're gonna play this. We know that they have Hulk to fairy and then two other cards. I should have tapped my ether hub. That was a punt. That was a super punt. My opponent should field my red source. But that lets me contempt something, so it might not be super great for him. So here comes the fairy. Yep. Yield through this turn. So we gotta just get this off the battlefield. So we know they have a glimmer in their hand and a gear hulk. We are gonna draw a card here, which is pretty great. Though they're going to, uh, they're probably going to outcard us pretty quickly. We just need to hope that we can like counterspell our way through this. Like hit tag this Gear Hulk, and then our hope our oh they push, which kind of sucks. They're missing land drops. Holy Nikes. All right, let's. Hopefully, find something. So this actually flips it, so if they, they can actually get the mana, hopefully they burn the mana and try to Torrential Gear Hulk this. No, oh, that's a good play by them. I kind of just want to ditch both my lands. That seems pretty greedy. Maybe I can just Essence Scatter and this Sulphur Falls and hope to like get Torrential Gear Hulk there, Essence Scatter. Now I'm just going to ditch. One, two, three, four. They have four cards. One of them's a Glimmer. Yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get a little, we're going to live on the wild side here. Hopefully they don't go for it. And then we can hulk there. We like if they just glimmer here, we can then hulk there. Um, we can hulk the gear hulk, or scatter the gear hulk. Been live for almost two hours. I streamed earlier this. I streamed Sims this morning with my wife, which was pretty fun. So they have to use all their treasures to like to deal with my torrential gear hulk. We should have drawn that last turn. And even if they, like, if that resolves and they get this Champion of Wits, then um, I, guess I do get to eventually bring it back, which is where you really start making money. All 
right? So we're ahead on the board. We're behind on cards, but we are ahead on the board. So we're going to start definitely stressing them out a little bit. They play a uh, Scarab God. That's not good. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. So we get to attack with my Gear Hulk. And then I can't really Supreme Will. I can't even, like, because they're going to bring back Nikki B, which is not good. They can't flip it at least, but they might bring back their Gear Hulk to Glimmer. God, this card still just, like, runs train. I'm going to kill it right now after they scry before they untap just to kind of keep the battlefield manageable and I have a card that I'll, I should have waited for them to scry that might matter because if they reanimate my bolus then I'll just ditch this fatal push it's not doing anything anyways I could have just jammed Bolas, but then they just like Supreme Will it because we need we need one more mana. They're gonna crack this and fatal push this thing, okay? Ooh, they're gonna bring this back in champion. They can actually just do both, Jesus. Yeah, this game's over. Because they can do both, they can bring back my Bolas as well. Well, that's gross. <clears throat> Okay, so against this deck, we want these and this. Don't want any of these. That's probably a pretty clean switch. Then probably cut like one Vraska's Contempt. Yeah, that's pretty clean. It's a well-built deck. MTG, MTG bot commands. I would like to play first. The old one land heater. All right. We don't have black mana, but we can figure that out. Champion on top. I actually field into my black mana also like on turn three. So I can go like field of ruin into duress, which I'm a fan of, especially if I draw another land. Probably should hit their white source. I doubt they play a basic planes. So they know you know they play a basic island. Yeah, we're just gonna take this essence scatter. They do have a god. So it's good to know. Let's drown catacombs. Land one time? Nope. Yes. I kind of just want to take this commit because my hand's so clunky. This means that I can't play Nikki next turn because my opponent can then slam God. So we're just going to pass with mana up. Field of Ruin. Yep, we're just going to pass. Gotta let that go. 
we're in some trouble here. When I hit a thousand followers, I can apply for more subscriptions or more sponsorships. Like I'm a part of the card hoarder network. I can apply to other things like goat bots, just a larger swath of, um, okay, that's good. Just a larger set of, uh, I don't know how to say it. I can just do more things with the stream and I can stream more decks. So I'm pretty close. I was trying to get there today. I was gonna like get up early this morning and stream, but I slept in. And I usually get quite a few viewers when I start in the morning. Cause I usually start around like six before the SCGs. I'm a pretty early person, but. Okay, let's turn it. Opponent reveals the other hand, you choose a card and exile it. So it looks like this is going to get five mana, sync pay for four. Okay. Nope. That's alright. Let me draw a land, because I can draw a land and then Nikki plus Essence Scouter. I've been up in my streams more. I stream a little bit, a little more regularly now. Uh, I used to stream twice a week, and now I've been trying to get more in. Streaming probably three or four times a week. So just slam God here. Slam to fairy. That's way worse than slamming God. We're probably just going to get, like, we missed here, and we're just going to get run over. If I hit a land, maybe I get a chance, because I can play, like, oh, that's pretty good. This isn't going to beat this Teferi, though. I know this cast down is gone. Okay. I maybe should have gone fishing on my main phase. It's just so bad because I can't do anything because this Teferi is just going to manage. I mean, I could just play Liliana. I could play my own Scarab God. I think it's Contempted. I could go, like, bring back Liliana into Nikki B. But then they, I guess there's nothing left in there for the Scarab God to do anything with. And if I draw land, I can commit it. I just have to grind through this somehow. I can't just sit here and do nothing when they have a Scarab God in play. I guess this is Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah. Now I'm just like super dead. I just missed it like... I don't know. There's probably many different ways I can play this. I, again, I'm not. I don't play a lot of standard, so I tend to struggle a little bit when I do play standard. It's, it's the old ticket burner format for me. Yep, there's the god. It was just tough. It was kind of a beating there. But then they're going to reanimate my Bolas. Uh, we're just going to scoop it up. We're not beating this. Okay, so I can either run it back with this deck, play Red Black, or play Zombies or Death Shadow. And I've been getting worked playing Standard. So let me go over here. Collection. 